Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Skin Red Fox. Come back with another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2: The Zoom Build Edition. Let's get back into things here. It's been a couple days since I have, I have of course played. Um, I kind of took a few days off because of the, you know, I had a bunch of them that I did like all in one day. So I took a few days break to kind of get my, like wrap my head around like the current situation. As for right now, pretty much everything's fine. We don't really have any serious issues going on right now. We're just trying to get to the um to the empire which we have right now I mean that we that we're trying to get to right now um, obviously we can't do the Persian because of how much we need for the Persian um, but we do still have the opportunity to get the uh, the Rajasthan in which we need a, another probably at least 10 uh, probably 10 or 11 provinces before we actually have enough for that and with our threat level kind of dwindling down we're getting to that point where we might actually be able to here once our character gets to be of age so we're just mostly just gonna kind of chill out and let our gold kind of increase while we're waiting you know for things to happen what do I have raised right now I don't even remember is it yeah you know, just mercenary bands is it two okay so that's 30 total we have 30 I mean we actually have 40 gold income so that's not bad we're, we're just gonna have to sit here and hold on to him for a few minutes um, you don't think well let me see this guy's actually going to war with somebody oh nice this guy's going to war with him and we might actually be able to go to war with this guy here he's be approved by your council offer to join the war Except for Crusades, Jihad's for supporting their claims outside your realm. There is a claim outside of our realm, so I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that, but whatever. So be it. Anyway, so we're just going to sit here and let our gold kind of just go up for right now. What I might do, let me see what we have here. I think I'll go ahead and lower that one for right now. And we'll have one opened up. And we'll just have like an additional like 13 gold per month, which should bring us up to about, what? 13 plus the 9 that we had, so 22. Let me see. Yep, 22. That's it. And we have more infidel, so this is a pretty good um, opportunity for us to just go ahead and try and easily just run through these wars right here. Um, we have a few troops that we can raise up for this. We can actually just go ahead and lower this 513 stack right there. Let's see, we're going to go ahead and march everyone up here and get everyone ready to st attack this first branch. This guy can actually start going this way, where these guys can actually kind of like go after these guys right here. We should be able to win this pretty easy on both fronts. Oh nice, and we improved relations with the opposite empire, so that's good as well. And this should be it right here. Yep, we actually did it twice back to back, that's really good. All right, and enforce demands, and that's good. Now we can go ahead and lower our own vassals here, which brought us back up to quite a bit, so that's good. Let me see, do we have anything that we can actually do right now? Uh, Castletown, we can't do anything. Um, let's go ahead and do that right there. Just to kind of get a few like basic um, provinces up. This is Delhi right here, I think. Yeah, cool. Delhi will. Delhi and the one in our capital right now are probably our two biggest provinces, so we're gonna try to focus more on them than anything else. As far as overall stats, our character isn't too too bad here. This guy's got a lot of good stats, so hopefully he can rub off on us a little bit here with stats and stuff. So we can try to get a little bit going in favor for us. Um, the Abbasids did, I think, take a piece of the the Qadir, or no, the Afid, the, the Fifid did, okay, that's cool. Which is fine, I don't care, because these guys are, like, you know, good buffers for us. As long as they win, we're good. We just don't need them to lose against the Caliph. Oh, so the Caliph actually is attacking, but this guy's got, like, a ton of people helping him, so that's good. As long as he's got a bunch of people helping him, he should be fine. Okay, cool. We 
we need to get to about 1200 gold I think is a good safe number for us right now but once we get there we're pretty we're getting pretty uh, set looks like our character got a little bit more um, stats while we were waiting this is gonna be pretty slow beginning to the episode until he can get to actually like 16 so we're gonna sit here and kind of just kind of chit chat until then um, looks like this work probably ended I think if I'm not mistaken yeah okay so he's helping defend against the opposites that's really good for him let me see can I offer to join that war no we can't okay well, that's fine whatever I'm not too worried about it right now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, establish this holy war right here and get everything ready to go we should have plenty enough troops to win this I'm not expecting there to be really any issue whatsoever and with all these guys like helping the Ophid against the opposite we actually have a pretty good chance and we just got a ton of gold when we get 2200 I'm not I'm not exactly sure but I'll take it okay so let's see here we've got a ton of troops right here we can kind of like move this way and go ahead and rec uh, recruit a core position here We should be good here. I'm not expecting there to be really any issues. We can actually have this guy do this now. I think we've got enough. Of, um, I think we've, you know, improved relations between them enough for the time being. We can focus more on this right now than anything else because we really just need to go ahead and just win this war. It's the most important thing that we can really do at this point. Um, we're probably just going to assault the holdings since we went ahead and just beat like pretty much all their troops right there. I'm not expecting there to be really any pushback or resistance from like any of their allies because of this other war that's going on right here. We're at twenty nine percent too, so we're not gonna gain as much as, you know, normal. We're not gonna gain as much like war I mean, we're not gonna have as high as what we have been having as far as um threat level. So we should be fine for the time being. Okay, then we're going to split half there and send these guys this way and send the other half right here. Alrighty, come on. There we go. And that should no, oh, that's a hundred percent right there. Cool. All right, sweet. And we end up doing quite well there. So we can go ahead and lower everybody up. And that kept and that kept us pretty well as far as um, troops go. So we're not like in any serious um, we're not in any serious predicament right now with that. So we can go ahead and try and give out what we can. Let's go with the weaker people first because I really don't feel like giving a lot of stuff to really strong people at this point. I'm, for obvious reasons, I mean, because I don't really have feel like having a whole lot of pushback with a bunch of uh, with with my character being a kid right now. So I feel like we can just wait a few minutes. Um, give him a sun temple as well. And there's another sun temple, so that gives us five provinces left. Go ahead and give this guy something, I guess. Give this kid a there we go all right and that's our nine right there so we're looking pretty good with that now we need to go ahead since we lost a pretty deep not a, not a whole lot actually I thought it was a little bit more than that but it wasn't Okay, and now with that, let's see what we actually are looking like with this uh, empire that we've got going here. 
we are at 72%, we need 80, so we're still a little bit behind, but we're, we're getting close now. It's not near as bad as what it was. I want to see something. What what provinces are part of this? So these over here and all of these right here. So we really can't do anything with this guy because we just went to war with him. So it's probably best we go ahead and go up here to a, the top part of Ayuda. Which will give us a lot. Actually might give us enough. I'm not sure if it will give us enough. It will be pretty close. What do we have for um, threat levels pretty high now? So that's what we do have to be pretty careful with that. And this guy is... Uh, I think we might actually have a good shot here. Let's go ahead and do this. I think we have a good shot. Okay. I think we got a good shot of just running through a lot of these guys right here. Alright, and then we have a free uh, Chancellor spot, so let's go ahead and do that. Again, we have pretty much everything we need right now. Let's see what this kid's looking like. He's not really improved any of his stats yet, so. I got Gregarious, which is a good stat, so I'm pretty happy with that. There we go, sweet. And now we can go ahead and send our guys up this way and attack this big giant 6,000 stack right here. Alrighty, come on. and let's see we should have enough for this right here let's cut them off there and then let's send all these guys right here we should get there in time to be able to beat them before like they get our smaller units which we were I'm going to go ahead and we're going to beat these guys pretty soundly here shoot I have another 7,000 stack right here so oh, well let's go ahead and let's um go ahead and beat these guys right here since they're right there it's pretty easy Alright, sweet. And then we can go ahead and move these guys here to this 4,000 stack. They have a lot of troops. I will give them that. They are just absolutely just riddling with troops right now. If I had to guess, I'm pretty sure they probably know by the way that the AI is attacking my units. They probably know they have enough to just beat me straight up. And that's kind of makes me a little nervous, but I'm not too worried about it right now. That actually was really good that they came and attacked me with that low um, morale, and that probably will win us this war right here. So I'll take it. It's definitely worth for me. What am I looking at right now? So I have way too many vassals as of right now, it looks like. So let's go ahead and transfer some guys here. Um, this guy right here so let's go ahead and like accentuate these guys right quick so everything's looking good here that's fine that's got this guy you can do a little bit better but that's fine as well um there we go commander slot should be good 
All right, so let's look here. What do we have? For, look, what can we do for mercenary bands? I guess we can probably get another one. I would say that probably be the safest thing to do right now. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and raise this one right here. We we have the gold to be able to afford it right now, and we're not losing gold as of right now, so I'm not as nervous. Okay, so now we can go over here and attack this 25 stack right here. Alright, so we'll beat this, tw this 2200 stack right here. Okay, so what will this will do right here by me going ahead and attacking these provinces? I'll go ahead and get this out the way. Cut them off now. There we go, and we basically and we basically beat them. We'll take out their huge stack right off the bat. Let's go ahead and send these guys down there, so they can go ahead and um, so they can go ahead and unsiege these provinces or un you know, take control back of these provinces. I'm not expecting there to be really any pushback here from these. huge stack fighting these guys right here and that's good I don't really care about this I just want to unsiege this province that's all I'm trying to do here eighty nine percent should be fine here I think we actually got a pretty good shot of uh, beating these guys right there before they actually get us back That should get us close. 91% still a little ways away. Got Brave, which is a good, that's a pretty good trade, I think. And there's our 100% right there. That took a little bit more than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting as much of pushback from that, but I'll take it. And we'll go ahead and we will lower both of these. And we will go ahead and we will lower the Holy Order as well. And let's check to see total strength here. We should be pretty good. We don't have the, some of the top ones. We can go ahead and lower this one right there. And lower that one there. Alrighty, so let's see here. 62% um, is pretty good. And we are at, what, 14%? We still have Rowdy, so we can get some pretty bad... Tr we can get a pretty bad trade if Rowdy doesn't end up becoming what we want it to. Um, for the most part, though, we're looking pretty good. So hopefully things go better with that. Um, let's go ahead and let's give out these provinces now. All right, so let's go ahead and see. We, ha we should have a random guy in our court that's, you know. What is that? him that as well. Night Misa. They have two small provinces to give out, so let's see here. We should be able to give our one of these guys something, huh? Let's see. Uh, so he pretty much has everybody in the, um, the council in his pocket. So we got to get rid of this guy here for sure. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. 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 And that's fine. Well, actually, we'll 
Yeah, you know, you know, we'll get rid of you too. We'll get rid of everybody. We'll start with a fresh new um, set of guys in there. I'm not necessarily in the need for anyone in particular to be necessarily helpful to me as far as like, I mean, I'm not looking for like these high stat guys right now anyway. I'm just like, you know, doing my own thing. This guy actually has a pretty good amount of troops for not only having the, this one province or, well, he has a few. Where's, where are they at? Oh, he has a few. Oh, wow. Okay, so this guy over here has a few. Wow, pretty much all, I think, no, I think all of France is um, Islamic or, let me see. Yeah, I mean, it's like, gosh, it's just a giant mess. Even Cathar, like, good lord, there's not really very many just straight Catholic provinces anymore. Pretty much all of Catholicism has been just destroyed in this entire map. I mean, even look at us. At least ours looks a little bit better than the Catholics. I mean, the Catholics just got destroyed by the Muslims in this particular game. Uh, that's crazy to me, but whatever. I mean, I can't do anything about it, so. So let's see now what we've got. We should be close to this here. 75%. We are really, really, really close to actually getting the, to getting what we need here. Um, I mean, we could go for this guy here, but... I don't know how well it's going to do because we're going to get jumped on by all these guys anyway. So it's probably best that we just kind of like run its course for the time being. Let everything just kind of, you know, do what it's going to do. Because we have plenty of gold anyway. We can raise as many mercenary bands as we need in order to get what we, you know, in order to fight off a lot of people. Let's actually go ahead and look at our prisoners. We should have plenty of prisoners to ransom off. Yeah, 17 for 501 gold. That's kind of crazy actually. And we ended up just kind of just usurping everything there. Let's check to see um, our inheritance and everything. Um, yeah, pretty much everything's the same. Everything's Agnatic Gabel kind, so that's cool. Don't lose a whole lot because of that. Um, probably need to go ahead and give out a few duchies here. This guy right here can probably get one. Alright, we're getting a lot of these ransoms coming back. Oh, we did end up having a war come out, so that's uh, that's fine. Let me see, what is this guy? So this guy's got 8,000 troops. That's, that's alright, it's not too, too bad. Let's go ahead and raise up a huge mercenary band, though, because we've got 38 gold, gold per month. And we have 28 that we can actually deal with, so let's see. Something for 28 gold, give or take a little bit. Uh... Let's actually do a pretty decent sized um, situation here. Let's see. Where? Where's the larger one at? I thought we had a larger one here. Hmm. Let's group up all of the um, the troops first, though. This guy right here. Let's see. Sixteen thousand. When did he get sixteen thousand? I'm kind of curious, where is his 16,000 at, if I'm, like, not mistaken? He shouldn't have near that many. Maybe I'm just kind of blind or something. I don't know. What is this for? Zabulstan? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and let's raise up another mercenary band. I guess we don't really have any other choice. Uh... So we've got a we got some work to be doing here. We don't have a whole lot of time. Hmm. It's interesting here. So we got to go ahead and start getting um our work. We starting got to start getting work done now. We're gonna have, we're gonna be losing a lot of gold really fast. So we don't have a whole lot of time. This should be more than enough right here. So we need to get rid of this five nine stack right up here first. That's gonna be where a lot of his troops come from. So we got to start moving up this way. 
He's moving a lot of his troops up here, which I'm kind of confused about. Maybe he's trying to go and stop these guys from attacking there, but I don't see what the point is and all that. Um, see, so yeah, he's running into a few people right here, so we're good. He's going to get hung up there. If we can get the 5,000 stack down, we should be fine. He has 2,000 way back here, so I'm not worried about that. Um, he's not going to war against other people. He's just going to war with us for right now, so that's really good. As long as he doesn't have other people trying to press claims on his stuff, we should be okay. Oh, nice. This guy's actually going to get kind of caught there. That's really good for us. Let's see if we can't white piece it. No, nope. okay. So he's not going to he's not going to let it go down that easy. That's fine. Fourteen thousand. Where is this fourteen thousand at? I'm just. I'm curious about like where is this? Where these magical troops I have lost? Like where? Like I mean, like I have like lost track of. Cause I don't. I don't see them anywhere. I mean, I see seven, eight, whatever thousand right here, but that's about it. Okay, sweet. Okay, well, I got dull, which sucks. That's actually a terrible trait to get right now. That's fine, don't care about that. Let's go ahead and try and get a pretty decent wife here. Everyone's concerned we need gold anyway. Form an alliance? No, of course he wouldn't. That would be too easy to do that. Um, we should be fine for the time being. Alright, so let's see, we should get our minor titles set, set up first though, because we don't really have a good, um, we don't really have as many troops as they do, so we got to make sure our um, our guys are, you know, more well equipped. Oops, sorry, I had a hiccup there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see. So we're going to need to see, what do we have for our top flank here? I got 22. I've almost got to uh, lead a flank here. I don't. Come on. Alright, so let's see here. What do we got? This is pretty much going to be one of the most important battles of this run. And it looks like we're going to win it, but by how much, I guess, is the question. Let's see. He doesn't want to accept the peace offer, so apparently he still thinks he can win somehow. We're going to be gaining a pretty good bit of gold per month anyway, so we might as well just hold up here. Oop, hold on. So let's see here. We're on the defensive here, so we should, we could possibly win a lot easier. Yeah, there we go. His horses didn't have much of a chance against me, so that's good. 78%. All right, now I'm just going to abuse him now. Now I'm just going to go and like assault all of his holdings and take everything. It's a little unfortunate for him, but I mean, it is what it is. That's what you get whenever you, uh, because I could have easily have won this war without doing that, but I mean, hey. You get what you deserve, I guess. All 
All right, so we're gonna just assault this holding right here, and this should be the um, this should be the uh, the war. I guess the only disappointing thing about this war is that we did in fact lose so much gold off of it. It's like that was like the most that's the most depressing part of it. But I mean, it's all right though. We'll end up making it though all the same. All right, so now um, I'm actually going to just go ahead and end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll do a little bit early management on like these little provinces right here because obviously we have a little bit to do. But it shouldn't take too long though in the next episode. But again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you did, please drop a like in the section below. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. It means a great deal. And again, guys, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye bye.